25.8 million children and adults in the United States have diabetes. It's the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S. It's a serious disease. Although type 1 diabetes can develop at any age, it typically appears during childhood and adolescence. Type 2 diabetes, the most common type, can develop at any age and is often preventable through a healthy lifestyle. Diabetes is a condition where the body can't use fuels properly for energy. The problem with diabetes is that carbohydrates, when they're broken down to glucose, can't get into the cells to be used as fuel. In type 2 diabetes, the body still produces the hormone called insulin, but not enough to keep the blood sugars under control. Whereas in type 1 diabetes, which is much less common, the body doesn't produce any insulin at all. In both types of diabetes, instead of blood sugar being able to get into the cells, it accumulates in the bloodstream and does various types of damage. Type 2 diabetes in particular is becoming much more common. Some of the risk factors that we know cause type 2 diabetes are being overweight, being older, gestational or pregnancy related diabetes, a very sedentary lifestyle, and there are certain ethnicities such as African American and Mexican American people who are at higher risk of getting type 2 diabetes. With type 1 diabetes, we don't really know the cause uh, for that. Um, family history is not as important a factor as it is with type 2 diabetes. Oftentimes, diabetes is completely silent, but symptoms vary depending on how high your blood sugar is elevated. Some of the signs and symptoms of type 1 and type 2 diabetes include increased thirst, frequent urination, extreme hunger, unexplained weight loss or weight gain, fatigue, blurred vision, the management of diabetes has a number of different basic measures and healthy eating is probably one of the most important factors in managing diabetes. Regular exercise can often replace the need for medications to keep your blood sugars under control. And another basic measure is monitoring your blood sugars. So oftentimes your doctor will ask you to check your blood sugars at home using a little glucose monitor. We have insulin, which is given as an injection, and that's the main treatment for people with type 1 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, we can often use pills to help control the blood sugars. Type 2 diabetes is preventable in a lot of cases. So many people develop what's called pre-diabetes, where your blood sugars are a little bit high, but not at the level that we would call type 2 diabetes. Modest weight loss, even 5 to 7% loss of body weight, can actually prevent uh, developing type 2 diabetes. Just 20 minutes a day of aerobic exercise can also be very effective in preventing diabetes. And if you have both weight loss and exercise, you can reduce your risk of getting type 2 diabetes by 60%. No matter what type of diabetes you may have, eating a healthy diet, maintaining a healthy weight, and keeping a close eye on your blood sugar levels are critical to managing your diabetes. And if you don't have the disease, leading a healthy lifestyle is still important in reducing your risk of developing diabetes. For Ben Memorial Clinic, I'm Victoria Adelis.